In this video, we're going to show how to use the graphical user interface to read out the energy resolution from the crystal, which has been coupled directly to the readout head on the detector. Um, we've taken the detector and the configuration that we showed you before, the setup before, and we've now encased it uh, in a light tight container, and we have placed some extra uh, black material on top of that just to block out some of the light. Uh, from the, the laboratory setting that we're in right now. Um, the unit has been turned on and powered up, and we've shown you previously how to do that. Um, I've just loaded the Sensil Matrix 9 graphical user interface. Um, you can see that we haven't connected to the module yet, so we're going to connect now. And we've got success. We can read the coincidence ID. Um, we're using channel 1, as we showed you previously and we can read the ID number and we can read the firmware version so that we know we're ready to go. The settings that are shown on the screen are the default settings that come um, from the factory and we're going to show you how we'll start with those settings and then we'll adjust some of those settings to get a good energy resolution measurement. Um, so to first uh, show that we've got connection to the module, um, I'm going to click uh, down in the coincidence readout control, I selected channel 1, view 1. Uh, that corresponds to channel 1 on the readout module. I'm going to place the unit into readout mode by clicking the run readout button. And I'm doing this, uh, I, would some, I would normally do that if I'm doing a stream to file, uh, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to actually show you a graphical plot on the screen. But I'm just doing this so I can I can get a count right here, uh, which is shown in hertz uh, on the right hand side of the screen, and and that's actually the count rate coming from the entire coincidence readout board. Um, at the moment, it's about 3k. It's a very very low um, signal, and we only have one crystal on top of one um, SPM pixel, so that is expected to be a pretty low rate just for doing the setup that we're doing. So I'm going to now halt the readout, um, and I'm going to go into uh, plot energy mode. Uh, by clicking on the plot energy mode button, you can um, have the uh, energy readout, uh, energy plot readout screen comes up. Uh, this is a nice screen which allows us to interact with any of the channels, uh, any of the pixels inside the matrix SL9, and to actually extract an energy plot from them and show it on the screen to make sure that we've got everything set up. Now, one of the first things that you need to do is make sure that you've got your channel number set correctly and your array and pixel number set to the right numbers. Now, this one is already set up properly. I've got channel 1, I've got array 4, and I've got pixel 6. Um, to show you how I, I, I determine those numbers, I'm going to quit the energy plot window, and I'm going to direct you back to the matrix 9 um, readout, uh, readout uh, channel configuration screen. And as you, if you read the manual, you know that we start with the top left-hand corner. That's array 0. This is array 1, this is array 2, this is array 3, this is array 4. Uh, you can see that our pixel has lit up. And you can see here that pixel 0, pixel 1, pixel 2, pixel 3, pixel 4, pixel 5, pixel 6. So we know that we're on channel 1, array 4, pixel 6. So clicking on the plot energy button again, um, channel 1, array 4, pixel 6 is selected. That's good. Um, if I click on plot, I'll now start to have the unit operate. Um, you can see that the default settings um, for our energy bins go from 0 up to 4,095. And you can see that most of the action is happening down here below 1,000. So I'm actually going to um, halt that plot. And I'm going to change this plot range to 1,000 to for starters. You can see I've clicked the, I've selected the high um, energy bin. I'm going to put in a thousand. I'm going to zoom in, and now I'm going to plot again. And now you can see I've changed my energy bins from zero um, all the way up to one thousand. So this gives us a pretty good um, look at the at the at the signal coming off of the detector. Um, th you, what you can probably notice first off is that we don't have a very good distinction between the the Compton continuum on on a normal sodium twenty two um, uh, source. We don't really have a good uh, distinction down there. So 
what we're going to do to see if we can get a better looking spectra is we're going to quit the energy plot screen and we're going to go back to the readout channel configuration screen and the first thing I want to do is I want to adjust the SPM bias and adjusting the SPM bias will have the effect of taking our signal and bringing it to the right so giving it higher gain therefore going up to higher energy bins so I'm going to once again quit the energy plot I'm going to change the SPM bias to 29.5 to increase it as we showed you before you need to save the configuration and then you need to configure the channel uh, once that's done we can go straight back to our plot energy button um, we can click on the plot button and we can see the energy plot running and we now get a better look at the uh, signal from our pixel we can see the 511 kV peak we can see the 1.2 uh, MeV peak and we can see the uh, Compton, Compton continuum um, to the left of the peak um, I might I might like to try a little bit more bias to shift this even further to the right so I'm going to quit and I'm going to change my SPM bias setting now to 30 volts I'm going to save that configuration and I'm going to configure the unit and I'm going to run my plot energy again by clicking on the plot button and let's see what we get now um, now we're getting a Say the peak of our 511 kV signal is now um, centered around 200 uh, energy bin 200, which is a good place for this system. Um, you can see that we've got very good visibility of the Compton continuum, but we've now lost the 1.2 MeV peak that we like to normally see to know that we've got a good um, good measurement setup. So I'd say that I'm not very I'm, I'm happier with these setups, this configuration, but I'm, it's not perfect yet. So I'm going to quit the measurement and now I'm going to adjust the um, the threshold for the array and I'm going to adjust the threshold for the pixel. Um, I'm going to select uh, I'm going to take the default settings and I'm going to lower them. I'm going to lower them to about 0.2 of a volt for both the array and the pixel. I would typically keep those um, values, whatever I what, whatever changes I make, I would typically keep those values the same and I'm going to lower them because I want to show you what will happen once we save and configure and run our energy plot. I'm going to show you what will happen to the screen. Um, <clears throat> you'll see that we've gotten a lot more of the uh, the, the lower energy um, noise signal has now come through. Um, you can see we still can see the 511 kV peak. It's still centered at the same place, uh, but we've now got even less information out to the right of the peak. So I would say that I wouldn't, I'm not really happy with those settings either. So I'm going to quit this and I'm now going to try to go to a slightly higher array threshold setting and a slightly higher pixel threshold setting. I'm going to go to 0.4 of a volt. I'm going to save that and I'm going to configure. Um, these are settings that you'll need to adjust yourself to get a good feel for how to get the best measurement set up. Um, now I'm going to plot that and now you can see that we've got um, good visibility of the 511 kV peak. Um, we've got decent visibility of the Compton continuum on the left-hand side of the peak and you can see going out we can see the 1.2 MeV peak um, can be clearly distinguished out of the, uh, the noise in the system. So I'm just going to let this run for a second just to show you how, um, how that is all set up and how that is all running and to allow it to catch, capture enough data to get a pretty smooth plot. Um, this would be a um, a, a, a very nice looking uh, energy resolution plot that we can start to do some more um, more measurements on in in further in further videos so I'd be quite happy with that plot and would be happy to um, you know do some measurements with that um, and, and stream that data to a file if I was interested in in capturing that <laughs>